Now we are ready to cover what is probably the most important concept in your entire scientific career, the design of experiments. How do we know if the difference that we observed here in this graph are real or not? Well, that's what we will address now. The design of experiments is a very old concept. This book published by Ronald Fisher has like about 100 years and the basics of the design of experiments is still the same, although with some variations. So how does it work? Well, the first step is to set a hypothesis. Remember, we just told you that we need hypotheses in science. Then we collect the data, which are the samples. Then we estimate population values from the sample. And at the end, we evaluate the hypothesis. Let's revisit this step by step. Let's suppose we want to know whether hares are faster than tortoises. So the first thing we would do is to set our hypothesis. Ideally, we will test the hypothesis hares are faster than tortoises. But we cannot prove things right. So that's a problem. What we do instead is to establish what we call a null hypothesis. The null hypothesis would be in that case, hares are as fast as tortoises. If we observe that hares are on average faster than tortoises and we reject the null hypothesis, then we will support the alternative hypothesis. Step number two, we start collecting the data. That means that we start to time the race time of the hares and the tortoises and we compute the speeds once we get the table, we can estimate the population variables from population values from the sample. We can, in that case here, so estimate the average and then the standard error of the mean or any other statistical dispersion, so we can see how the difference are. Step number two, we evaluate the hypothesis. Speeds, according to this graph, are very unlikely to be the same. So we observe that hares are faster than tortoises on average. We reject the null hypothesis of equal speed, so we support our alternative hypothesis, hares are faster than tortoises. Remember, we do not prove hypotheses. We may reject the null hypothesis, and therefore we may support the alternative hypothesis.